All right, guys, y'all probably wondering why we're sitting here like this. Big Risa, he died here a lot. So you don't have to go through the same torture we had to go through. We're going to go ahead and speed up this video for you guys. Enjoy. Everybody. We're back. Maybe this is the episode when we freaking beat Dracula. Maybe it's not. Y'all don't know. I'm it could have been a thousand episodes and y'all wouldn't even know. It bothers when I heavily edit these goddamn episodes. <laughs> and by heavily, we mean heavily. heavily. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. So heavily, it's gonna be heavenly. <laughs> oh, man. Jerks. Alright, two. two. Got two. Leave. <laughs> Leave. Leave. Oh. Shit. Oh my god. So, so, so this is what, good practice. I'm talking to, I'm talking to my lady of interest, and oh my god, okay, I know, I know what I do. Keep going. I'm talking to my lady of interest. Mm -hmm. uh, I was sure named at all, at, at all. Um, but she's asking some of her friends, like she's around right now, about how to beat this dude. And literally, the only piece of buzz I had. Wait for it. You just have to have good timing. <laughs> oh, <look>. thanks! <laughs> you need to have good timing. You need to have good timing. You need to have good timing. I mean, I just dropped like a shit ton of knowledge. I was like, I. I don't I'm think you understand. <laughs> yeah. I'm not trying to be rude, but I think. I think by my. <laughs> I feel like the 50th time of watching this, I've become like a, <laughs> a, a pseudo expert just by like experiencing it. Like, it's timing, but it's also getting <laughs> fucked in the ass like a choo choo train. Yeah, basically. It's, yeah. There's like speed runs of people online who like played this in 13 minutes. In, well, 13 minutes, but also with no sub weapon. <laughs> <laughs> well, no sub weapon, no damage taken. I'm like, kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, in the nicest way possible. If you're one of those people, you're cool, you're great. You can kiss my ass on that shit. No, <laughs> no damage. Like, fuck out of here. Like, <laughs> kiss my ass. <laughs> okay. Trace. That's how you say it in Spanish. Thanks. You know my PlayStation's still on. You never turned it back on. You never turned it off. After you turned it on. Turn me on. Turn me on. Let me just no, you should just turn on the PlayStation. My body. You got me going crazy. I'll turn it off after. What do we do it now? I mean, no. I mean, we're in the middle of a show. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If I get body rock, then we'll. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> up to this point, I just, I just want to see him on fire. 
<laughs> that's all I want to see. I know you guys want to see it. I want to see it. I want to be it. I want to live it. <laughs> I just, I just want to. I want I'm, it to be over. I genuinely feel your frustration. Over, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying yeah. to think of a boss that I fought that I feel this type of frustration on. I can't really. I don't feel it. The only other boss that's really like to me been this fucking tough that I've ever fought. That's probably got to be Sigma in Mega Man X. Yeah. Or no. Well, no, I had to... I was going to say Dr. Wily, but the only, like, actual Mega Man I super beat was Mega Man 2. And I had to freaking, um... I knew the trick to that because of Dwayne and Brando. I was like, <laughs> they're like, use the bubble and he's fucking dead. And I'm like... Huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. So you didn't really need the power ups at all. Well, you just need freaking Metal Blade. Metal Blade shreds everything in that game, including Metal Man. <laughs> like everything dies once you get that freaking, um, freaking Metal Blade or whatever. That's just it's so good. <laughs> I just love the sound of man. <laughs> like it's oh man, it just literally wrecks through everything. We got this dude. Mm. Still God got damn. hit. Doesn't matter, still got hit. It's fucking shit! Nope. Oh my god! It's brilliant on that, it's dumb. A two? Uh huh. Ever had, no, I don't want to move this moment. This magic moment. So many points from fucking him that I got another life. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all know something. My heart was beating so fast during that. My stomach got uncomfortable. <laughs> like, I was just like, oh my god, my stomach's just cringing. I, I can't believe we're on. I can't I don't I, believe it. <laughs> oh my god. And I mean, all I gotta do is get through that phase. And then once he comes out, just start. Just, just, oh my god! So, <laughs> I love what I was gonna say was, uh, have you ever had that one teacher that was just like on your ass and you didn't know? Like they're just always right behind you, always checking up on what you're fucking doing. That's you said Dracula. a teacher? Yeah, <laughs> that's Dracula. That's Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Wow, where's your hall pass? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I cannot let you go. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> no, I don't want Will Saw to be a freaking uh, vampire. Hey, buddy, come over here. Let me. I'm not gonna bring your blood. Just come here for a second. I can see him being a Bollywood. <laughs> <laughs> we had we had a mutual boss named Will Saw. He was a used car car salesman. Was he really? No, I didn't know he that. just had to lean. Oh, every yeah, time, man. every time you would come into the the place we used to work at, he'd just come in like, "Hey, buddy, come in." He just lean over the dago counter like he's about to sell you an awesome ass deal <laughs> on a damn breakfast item. Like, "Hey, get the fuck out of my face!" <laughs> hey, buddy, let me talk to you for a moment, eh? And then every time somebody something would go wrong, it would never be his fault. Like we right. called him in so much shit, like so much, <laughs> like 
okay, one time, this was after you left, but one time, you know, like he would call food, right? Yeah. He was like, put a bunch of steaks down. And I'm like, why? Uh, well, we close in like literally 15 minutes. No, buddy, no, 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 I know, we, we have rush. When we get rush, we get rush right now. Okay, buddy, okay, go ahead, put down all these steaks. I want you to put down 20 steaks. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> so I put it down, right? And then, of course, we didn't need them. And then he was like, hey, buddy, who told you to put all these steaks down? Before uh, I even retorted, freaking Fat Matt was like, uh, well, you did. You told him to put them down. <laughs> right. we all heard, no, buddy, I would never make a mistake like that. No, 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 buddy, I would never. I'm like, I'm looking at Will, I'm like, Will, you you literally just told me, put down these steaks, I know when oh, rush comes. Oh, God. <laughs> like, no matter what it was, you know, he, he suspended me for a weekend because I didn't come to a meeting that he, like, made up on the spot. Fuck him, man. <laughs> he's dude. like, he's like, I'm gonna make up this meeting right now. Okay. And he asked, like, they asked where I was at. This was on my freaking day off, right? Right. They, they was confused as to why I did not come to a meeting on my day off and I had no him. knowledge about. <laughs> Bruh. Like, he was very confused. But he's like, everybody was here. Where were you at? I'm like, um, well, um, I was out and about. I, I, I do not know. <laughs> I have no intel. <laughs> I have no intel. I talk about computers, play board. <laughs> oh, so damn. rough. Drag your bad jokes right now. My guy. Oh, oh, my balls. <laughs> Mm. It's so rough. Bruh. Like, I, I've got to get. Nice. Give me my shit. Okay, there we go. Two. You got that timer down. I had that timer down. You're doing good, man. Don't even try to stress, dog. <laughs> Dude, Will tried to keep me there. I mean, I just naturally just had to go. Everybody knew. Like, <laughs> I got to go. Yeah, I was fucking moving to Durham. I and then, gotta go. <laughs> basically. I, dude, I had, that's the only job I had to put my two weeks on notice in twice. In person. <laughs> I was like, well, I, I, I'm going to Durham. I can't work here anymore. And it's just like, hey, buddy, buddy, buddy. Stay here for like two more weeks, train up another person, and, and then we No, out. Will, it is not my responsibility to train up another person. Right. <laughs> it is your, you and your management team, that's what y'all get paid more than us for. Right. <laughs> Unless you want to increase my pay for these two weeks that you want me to stay here, um, no. <laughs> he offered to up it by a dollar. I'm like, hey, you can Fuck get- Fuck out of here. Like, really? He said, like, I'm gonna left nothing but the right one jump, playboy. Right. Like, I'm not doing that shit. Like, fuck, fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> like, straight up, fuck out, fuck out of here. <laughs> I ain't doing that. Like, that's so, oh my God. He, like, he's not the only person that's ever said that to me. Like, when I quit Papa John's, oh mm -hmm. my God. It was not pretty. That was, that was the one, that was the first time I ever quit a job and it was messy. And that's uh, just because, like, I, I mean, I kind of technically left on bad terms, but I don't care because, like, you want me to stay there, but you're not. You're not giving me any benefits. Mm -hmm. You're not really like doing anything to help me out. I was at school at the time, and you making me stay to like one to two o'clock in the morning. I gotta get up in the morning, go to a school, and you know my school schedule. And I got an eight a.m. class Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And you weren't even a manager then, was you? I was a manager. Oh, you were. Man. I was an assistant manager. Oh, assistant. Yes, and yeah. I got paid the lease. And my boss knew that I got paid the least and did nothing to help me out. Shh. Out of every, no. out of every, out of not the least at the store, at the least out of every assistant manager in the district, I got paid the least. That's ridiculous, man. And like, oh, well, like, you're not, you're not supposed to tell people how much you get paid. I don't give a fuck. I told them like, how much you get paid? And I was like, this is how much you get paid. And I was like, damn, you get paid crap. <laughs> and I was like, what? And they're like, this is how much we're all getting paid. And I was like. Nigga, what? You're allowed to talk about your wages, frowned upon by 
by employers. But sometimes some papers, depending on the company, they can make you sign papers where you do not discuss that shit. Listen, Even though people still discuss that shit. Even though it's technically illegal for them to make you fucking sign that shit. Yeah. Oh, Look. companies do all kinds of bad things like that is dumb illegal. Of course. Oh, yeah, life. CYA, cover your ass. That's why I always cover mine with evidence. Take that. Oh my god. Yeah, if, if my boss would never like do anything malicious against me, like my immediate boss, my manager, but I swear, <laughs> if shit ever like turns a freaking like, god, that's bad phrasing. I said, if she ever turns, uh, turns her head the wrong way, I guess, is a better way of saying it. Um, if she ever does anything bad against me, I got so much evidence. And I could just leave and she'd be fucked because she doesn't really know how to make computers operate. Which is kind of silly. It's your manager, you don't know what the hell you're doing. I've met some managers like that in my time. She knows. She knows. Oh, really? Why? Cankle shots. Dude, this, that's so rough. Like, you have to pray. Pray. Pray, my brethren. Pray that you get a two or a three. Yep. It's luck. So I was telling uh my significant other. It's well I'm talking to. I'm gonna make myself feel so much better tomorrow. I'm gonna play so much Super Mario Odyssey. <laughs> no one's gonna tell me what to do. I'm playing Super Mario Odyssey to make myself feel better. I'm happy, friend. I think you're doing that. Oh, gotta go to work. Gotta go to work. Gotta go to work. Something, something, something. Gotta go to work. I don't want to. I really don't want to. And there's a there's a freaking meeting that um. Is it a mandatory meeting? It's mandatory. It's oh. it's at the annual district meeting. So like I've basically got to go and make my store look good. You know what else? When I worked at Papa John's, <laughs> they fucking did. Well, they, they when I was a manager, they made me drive from Medvin to Greensboro for once a week for these assistant manager meetings, whatever. Right, bro. These hoes didn't give me bucket. no got kind of gas money. Mm, that's trash. Until I said something about it, I was like, "Hey, uh, yo, D." Um, I'm not going to Greensboro. He was like, you have to go. And I was like, that's fine and dandy, but until you give me some gas money, I'm not going. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was like, oh, okay, here you go. He basically was like, all right, man, here's 20. And I was like, all right, that's better. But for like a straight four weeks. <laughs> oh, hell I didn't, no. Yeah, for a straight four weeks. And then that was only because everybody else was all like, didn't you get your gas money? Because I said that, I was like, man, Driving here is kind of rough, and there was like there were people who it was the meeting was in Greensboro, and it was people who were in Greensboro that was getting the same amount of gas money I was to go down the street, and bro. I was getting like no gas money. And it was it, was, it bro like Dude, does he still work there at Papa John's? You know and he doesn't work. He works at the one at uh, on the other side of Baltimore. Mm. Mm. But yeah, like. <laughs> My dad used to drive for Papa John's. Dude, when I had a when I had a little hoopty car driving Papa John's was not bad, but now that I got this van, oh hell no. Like the the one by our house has asked me numerous times, hey man, don't you wanna work for us? And I'm like, no man, and I leave. <laughs> nope man. <laughs> what the answer. Mm. I don't think I could ever do the delivery. I mean, I could. I used to do taxi. I loved it. I used to do taxi driving. It's like delivering people, so it's kind of like the same thing. <laughs> yeah, instead of delivering pizzas, you're delivering popping hot people. Piping hot people. <laughs> God, give me something good. And, and they, they were, some of them were literally physically piping hot because I went to. I did drive ta taxis for a college, and some of them were actually literally popping hot as far as their attitudes because they're bitches. Look at you, fucking. <laughs> no, I can't say any names. 
I remember some of these like I used to drive around a lot of drug addicts though. <laughs> a lot. I feel like that's the only people that gave me because if they freaking hated me, like towards the end it, the company transitioned to a uh to a different person to because it was just from legality issues. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the guy just didn't like me. Because mm -hmm. he didn't hire me. I feel like he only liked people that he hired. So basically, aka his whole night crew. They just try to get rid of people during for the day crew because I feel like he promised his night crew um, daytime positions. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like that's the reason why he got rid of me. Stay alive. Living in the city. Something about fighting to survive. Living in the city. I'm thinking I'm mixing to. No, you got the right song. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 Bob is dead. <laughs> like. <laughs> Fuck oh, me! God damn it! Uh, I felt it! Damn, dog. That's rough, man. Yeah, you had the right song. Living in a city, you know you gotta survive. You gotta keep that dream alive. Everything is free, can't you see? I miss like a lot of the lyrics. <laughs> In the city! <laughs> <laughs> no one holds you down. Oh. So the girl that did that, the vocals for that song, she really was excited to do that song, to do the soundtrack for that, um, that, um, that game for Sonic R. Yeah. But she basically was like, Sega came at me and was just like, do this. And they didn't really give me any direction, so I just basically did what I wanted to do. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> 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 like, it's one of the, it's in one of those Digino you know, gamings um, where they were talking about the girl that did the song. And I was watching, and I was like, well, damn. It's like doing like. <laughs> it's like. Living in the city, can't you feel the sign in? Super Sonic Race are the best songs. But then there's another it's song. It's not the same it. woman who does it, is it? It is. Okay. There's one song that has the freaking <laughs> so 90s chord progression. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, it's just it's just super <laughs> nice. As soon as it is, you like, oh this is from the nineties. Um, what song is that? It's, I'm trying to remember the whole like soundtrack. There's a uh, every club progression I've ever known. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's uh, it came out '96, so yeah. Uh, the, the Sonic Sonic R is such a bad game, but it's one of those games that it's really really bad, but people just like it because of the soundtrack. That's interesting. There's not a whole lot of games like that. I mean, there's some games that just have bomb ass soundtracks and. Suck. Game of Strength. Like what? Name another game like that. I'm not. <laughs> Why not? I'm not about to be that person right now. <laughs> oh no! I wanna. I wanna know. I'm not about to be that person right now. <laughs> oh no! Are you about to hit on people's favorite games? Maybe yours. Um. Uh, which one? Jamie. My friends, right? What? I how many songs do I? How many games do I actually legitimately hate? I only say freaking uh. Skyward Sword? Yes. I knew. I knew. I mean, Did I have everybody sometimes their own opinion, even if it is wrong. Whatever. Fuck Skyward Sword. <laughs> <laughs> Skyward Sword did have a beautiful soundtrack, bro. It does. And then. Load it up. You just hate the bowling aspect. No, I don't. You were laying I on hate the it. couch. And that's not what I hate. I hate the controls are just bad. So you think I laid on the couch the whole time I played that game? No, so I walked in for my shift from work. I saw you trying to do the bowling part when you were laying down on the couch, dog. I see you. Gaming Wii Motion Plus. Where my Motion Plus at, Nintendo? Shit. <laughs> nah, fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck couch, I'm dead. <laughs> give me, give me an HD remake with the that I can use on the Switch or the Wii Pad. I play that shit on the Wii. Majora's Mask, yeah. Hold up, <laughs> we got it on the DS. Oh yeah, we did that one. 
I heard it was a lot easier to swim in that version. Fuck! I got off in his face! You did. Got R. Kelly on his bitch ass. Got all up in his grill, trying to get you to hump a sail. Damn. You're like one frame off from that. Oof. Sorry. I didn't mean for that to sound sensual. I was just... Anyway, never mind, that's awkward. <laughs> Sorry, viewers at home. <laughs> Hope this footage never. This audio footage never gets out. Oh, it's going. It's coming. Oh. No pun intended. God. Yes, three. I don't know why I did it that time. I didn't need it. Shit, fuck it. You know? Fuck! Fuck. Not, not fuck it like that. Time is all off. Fuck! Son of a bitch. Rising up. Back to the streets. Got his whip. Got his shorts. Simon Belmont, he is beating Dracula. And Fuck me, really? Come on, game. Come on, game. And fuck him, really? Fuck game. Yes, <laughs> D. I am tired of the thrill of life. Rising up for the Oh my God. I forgot that didn't work. <laughs> I, I forgot it too. I was, I was like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. I'm doing this. I'm committed. <laughs> I was like, let me help my homie out. Just might be something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, I know, but it'll blow my damn mouth. a good song for bass if you ever need to work on your finger patterns for like a long period of time. It's a workout. I'm better than freaking uh, living on the prayer. Thank you. Oh, no, nah, probably not. Living on prayer is my jam. I was talking about on bass, like from bass players. Well, we do need to work on octaves and fifths, yeah. Yeah, this is a good walk on this line. Uh, another one, another good one is um, Immigrant Song by Led Zeppelin. I'm drawing so many blanks, I'm just so focused. Yep. I'm, so focused. I'm so focused. <laughs> I'm on the puberty, bitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right? But when you listen to these songs like now, you're like, man, this is awesome. Like, listen to Dio, like, Dio's fucking the best. Like, Holy Diamond. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, sorry, pardon me. Whew. Round and round, goes around, comes around. I tell you why. <laughs> It, it was really cool back then to be like feminine, like I mean, wear some of the tightest clothes, dude. My God, clothes be super tight, man. Boy, I can't do it, dude. That gun um, balls be making out with your lungs and shit, boy. Just... <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> I can't, I don't. I hate tight clothes. Uh, I like the hair metal aesthetic, like you know, the bandanas and the. Just the, even the color scheme was freaking awesome. Well, also depending on where you like live, like where you, where you're from in America too. Like depending on, like the type of hair metal that you, because you gotta keep in mind like I think 
Maybe I'm wrong. I feel like um, Aerosmith came out around the same time hair metal was like still you know, rampant. But um, Steven Tyler took a little bit out of that book with his style, his personal like aesthetic. But it wasn't quite hair metal, obviously, because they kind of had southern roots, southern rock roots. But, um, I feel like, um, what was that band, name of the band? Jeez, not, but, um, Cinderella. Fuck you, game! Cinderella, I feel like, was one of the underrated hair metal bands, for sure. And, um, Extreme. That's the name of the band, Extreme. They did that one song. More than words, that's all I have to do. It's, a, it's an acoustic song. And then they did one electric song um, called Do You Wanna Play? And it's fucking, it, it's fucking extreme. Like the sweeps in that song are just like ridiculously good. Part two. Fuck my shit! But I think, I don't know, I, I'm really um, interested. I was really interested in a lot of like stadium rock. Because it's kind of like, you kind of still have like, especially with Kiss, you kind of have still some of the same aesthetics, you have like, the makeup, mm -hmm. except it's more like, unified. Mm -hmm. But still, everybody still has their own like, thing going on. Mm -hmm. Like, you got the cat, you got the demon, like the whole thing with uh, every member of Kiss. Mm -hmm. But then you've got people like Freddie Mercury who adds like a whole different opera aesthetic to to stadium rock. Um, I feel like it's definitely made what concerts what they are today and performances. Fuck out of here, man. Too bad half the people who are doing concerts can't sing with the shit by themselves. I'm not saying I would do much better, but if you're gonna put on a show, then do it. Nah, I mean, I don't expect you to reply. It's okay. <sighs> fuck me, man! Like, uh, fuck, fuck, fuck! This is so hard. How hard is it? Wow, as hard as my dick. Damn. Bob, don't look at him like that. <laughs> don't look. <laughs> oh gosh. So I've been uh I've been doing a lot of uh inventory in my job because God knows freaking a certain somebody in my job won't do it. You've anyway, already said the nigga's name like six hundred times. I'm not gonna it might not be him, it might be somebody else. I know only work with three other people, but damn <laughs> Um but my freaking hands are all cut up from cardboard, and then my, um, I don't know, I guess it's the cuticle of my finger is, like, all cut up from the cardboard and bleeding and stuff. Like, all I have to do is, like, touch something, and it's just, like, bleeding. I'm like, alright, this is, this is fun. Have you ever had, well, you used to work, <laughs> you know, I used to work at Papa John's where you had to fold cardboard boxes. I was one of the fastest mouse holders in my time. Do you, have, beat me. Do, do you have a like a plaque? No, genuinely, like I think they actually give those out sometimes. Mm, they they didn't give me one, but I beat everybody at my store except my boss at the time. And that's because he'd been there forever in a fucking day. Everybody else would try to come up. Man, I just <laughs> I just reminiscing about Papa John's, man. The funniest thing that's ever happened to us was the dude that we got hired, like, he, he was a stereotypical nigga, like, I don't, there's no other way to, like, he, he was a nigga, <laughs> uh -huh. but, this dude was in jail, right? Oh, okay. But he came to work, so, while he was working for us, like, during the day, he'd be in jail, but then he'd get out at, like, four o'clock to come work, yeah. and then go back to jail. Dude, I had that happen in my job. But, his, like, 
like one of the correction officers that worked at the jail where he was at was also a delivery driver Bruh. at my store so like <laughs> he would just be like alright man I know you stay <laughs> he's a he's tickle boy like he just talking to us fuck <laughs> <laughs> now the dude that was great oh, he was cool he was cool as fuck like, he played video games we talked about like when new games came out he was, he was like man let's show you the full one what's coming out I didn't know what to get so I could play it on my downtime and uh, at the time, I was, <laughs> jail. <laughs> no, not not him. I'm talking about the officer. Oh, got you. Okay. No, that dude was too busy trying to trying to get money and doing get rich quick schemes. Like that dude was he, like I said, he was a oh nigga. My God. But the corrections officer, man, like he was cool, man. He was just like, um, because you know, at the time I was also working at GameStop, and so I work at Papa John's the other day, and then go work at GameStop, and then go home and yelled at by my mom tell me I was useless but I mean what else I'm sorry man. it happens like she's like oh you ain't doing nothing with your life I'm huh? just like I'm working two jobs that ain't nothing and your mom works like 18 million jobs right but the dude he would come in and um he wasn't the, the officer wasn't rude he's was actually one of the coolest officers I knew but like he's I have 65 goddamn um he would just um, wait for that dude to talk shit because the dude like <laughs> it's so funny though because he uh, he almost got in trouble one time because he had to be back at a certain time so the uh, officer dude that worked with us actually like went looking for him while he was on delivery and figure out where he was he was like alright now don't make me get over there you ain't there god it's rude man <laughs> that shit's <It's> fucked <laughs> that should be fun I was rolling mad sometimes man oh my god like, Told me. Nice. My guy. Yeah. Dude, what the fuck? It's trash. Trash tactics. Shame on you, Konami. Shame. For shame. <laughs> For shame! <laughs> For shame! Like, this, this shit's fucking hard, man. Like, how do y'all 80s... Like, I don't understand, man. Like... <laughs> Born in the 80s, the ADHD babies. <laughs> Careful that being a wine, Two man. months off from being an 80s baby. Quote, unquote. Basically being in 89. Two yeah. months off. I was born ninety one. Look, man, I experienced <laughs> the whole nineteen nineties. Literally. I, oh man, I missed a year. Oh man. You man, did, man. I didn't like my sister I missed like fucking seven. Eight. She missed eight. She's ninety eight. She was born when Pokemon was actually just getting good. Right. Like, just getting over here and getting good, like... Yeah, basically. Like, she was almost the reason why I didn't get Pokemon Silver. I was pissed. So when did come out to 2000? I know, she was still alive, and she still had requirements for, to live. Uh, she had to take care of herself. Uh. <laughs> Baby pops out. Oh, you good, fam? <laughs> <laughs> you good, dog? <laughs> Dead ass. Dead ass, baby. <laughs> comes out with. <laughs> comes out with some Sean John fucking jeans. Fuck out my face. <laughs> NYC hat. Tim's. It was a steel toe, they last you a little while. <laughs> I don't like Timberlands. Like I said, it's just. I only wear them in the wintertime. I actually need to go get my dark blue pair from my mama's house. I need a good pair of boots. I just don't have a pair of boots. Then again, when the fuck will I wear them? I work six days a week. <sighs> Can't show, show up to work in some nice boots? Your boss will. She won't. It's not quite her style. 
I've went into a certain place we work here. I've went in there and I've seen females in the wintertime wearing boots. Oh, what? Those boots? Yeah, but that's not my manager style. No, not boots. It's not her thing. Not those boots. That's just not. No. She also has too many ankle issues from wearing boots. Ankle and knee problems. True. I like my boss. She just doesn't. I, I like my boss. I'm just leave it there. <laughs> Fuck me, man. Fuck me, man. You like Konami? You like getting fucked? <laughs> I mean, that's a very wide. That's a very wide. Uh, very good question. So the true variables need to be identified. Goodness. Oh. From downtown. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Down. Sure, it's too early. God, give me a three. Go fish. <laughs> Sorry. Fuck you, Jamie. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Yes. Just what time you do. <laughs> Fucking credits. Oh my fucking buttery ass nipples. Oh my god, my dick is so fucking hard right now. Whoa. Holy shit, no homo. Holy shit. Fuck you, Bram Stroker. Your screenplay was ass. There was no screenplay. Dracula Christopher B. Fuck out of here. Christopher B's nuts. Right. <laughs> Death. Oh, oh my god. Oh, Sweet God. Jesus. Medusa. Fuck my shit. Fuck my shit, bruh. That was... Oh, <laughs> Holy oh, crap. Oh, <laughs> I just don't... I, I, I feel so accomplished. Eating. Man. Simon Belmondo. Belmont. It was, it was some issues. You play the greatest role in this story. Thank you for playing. Well, I'm glad you said thank you because that was literally torture. <gasps> oh yeah, New Game Plus. I'm not. You, y'all can no. Uh, fuck that. We're not doing that. Happy Halloween. If you're trick or treating, be safe. Eat all the candy. Brush your teeth. Cavity suck. 
Anything you want to say? Fuck you, Jamie. I love you. Anything? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Anything y'all want to say? I'm that, done being serious. It's been an adventure. I hope y'all have enjoyed it. Um, oh, join us next Halloween. I don't know if we're gonna do. Join us ne- like tomorrow. Shit. Oh yeah. Tomorrow, <laughs> um, we won't have tomorrow, another video for a year. <laughs> uh, tomorrow may or may not be a themed episode, but you may have to just tune in to see. We love you guys. Until next time. In the meantime, in between time, <laughs> y'all stay fucking sexy and sweet dreams. Cause I've been up watching this shit forever. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Hit it. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Hit it. Hit it.